Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today's problem is in a population in equilibrium there are 1000 people, there are 160 recessive homozygous and 480 heterozygous genotypes. Calculate the frequency of the dominant allele. So when we have two alleles that make a gene pool, of course these two alleles would make 100%. So imagine that we have one dominant allele that is capital A and another recessive allele that is small a and uh, if our gene pool consists of only these two alleles of course these two alleles would make 100% or uh, in different calculations we use different scales sometimes we use scale between 0 and 1 or sometimes we use scale between 0 and 100 uh, percent so in our calculations uh, 100 percent equals to one so we have here one but we also can put 100 percent if we do our calculations in percentage form so uh, as you see two alleles can make three genotypes and first genotype would be uh, capital A, capital A, the second one would be capital A, small a, or heterozygous, and the third one would be small a, small a, or homozygous recessive. We are told that uh, 160 of them belong to the uh, recessive homozygous genotype, so 160 people belong to this genotype. Uh, we are told that 480 people belong to this genotype, heterozygous genotype, and total number of people are 1000. So it is very easy to find how many people belong to this genotype. We have to add these two numbers and subtract from 1000. And uh, number of people who belong to the homozygous dominant genotype equal to 300 60 people. So when we add all these three numbers, we are going to get 1000. So how to find frequency of the uh, dominant and recessive allele? It is very easy. As you see, uh, we have two dominant alleles here. So each person here would have two dominant alleles. So uh, here half uh, of the alleles would be dominant allele and half would be recessive allele. So uh, basically we have to add half of this number to this pile and half of this number to this pile. So uh, this is going to be uh, 240 so we have to add to here and 240 we have to add here. So on this side we are going to get um, as you see 600 and here we are going to get 400. If we add these two numbers we are going to get 1000 that uh, give us frequency of the uh, dominant allele A 60% or we can also say that this is going to be 0 0.6 and frequency of the recessive allele would be 40% or 0 0.4 we can put these numbers here also so frequency of this allele would be 0 0.6 and the frequency of the recessive allele would be 0 0.4. So if you add these two numbers, we are going to get 1 or 100%. The other way to solve this problem uh, would be um, to use instead of number of people who belong to each genotype, we can find number of alleles, um, for example, 360 people would have uh, two dominant alleles so total number of dominant alleles here would be uh, 720 we have to double this number also uh, so 
480 people who belong to this genotype would have 480 dominant alleles and 480 recessive alleles. And 160 people has uh, 320 alleles. Uh, all of them would be recessive alleles. So basically we do all the same calculations. We just double all the numbers. But uh, this doesn't affect our calculations. We still would get 60% uh, here and 40% here. But there are two ways how we can solve this problem. I want you to know that there are different variants how to solve this problem. But the answer still would be the same. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.